Indonesia is the last holdout for the Sumatran rhinos on Earth, and it's one of the uh, priority conservation species for the country. And there are so many people, stakeholders, uh, conservationists, governments, and uh, even you know scientists from all over the world working to save the species. Making a decision to capture and translocate an individual Sumatran rhino is a big deal. I mean, it is you know it's a it's. I mean, they are very, they're very cryptic, they're difficult to find, um, they're very high profile. There are, there are, you know, there are also political risks as well as biological risks to the animal. I think it's always been a priority of, of the Indonesian government to save the Sumatran rhinos by rescuing and having more, you know, or having done more breeding attempts uh, with the species. I can see that from the policy uh, making level to the grassroots um, levels. But my understanding is also that the efforts have not yet reflected the pressing urgency on Sumatran rhino conservation. Because you know we don't have, as you said, it's, it doesn't. We, the species doesn't have much time left. You know, um, while capturing rhinos and breeding them are necessarily an easy task, and they require so much time. It seems that the current utmost priority is to ensure that the uh, forest habitats where they, where, where wild rhinos uh, live, are fully protected from any kind of um, encroachment. This is simply based on how the um, Javan rhinos have managed to naturally grow its population at a stable rate because its habitat um, has been kept away from human uh, encroachment for decades now. So every small action certainly must be well thought out because all eyes are on Indonesia when it comes to protecting the species. The Kalian Sanctuary is only recently up and running, and Pahu was rescued in 2018, and Sumatran rhinos require such specific care and time, you know, for rescue attempts. I was um, involved in planning and executing um, Pahu's capture and transfer to the Kalian Sanctuary and have been involved in further discussion um, as part of an international group of consult of, of, of rhino expert consultants uh, with respect to planning future captures in Kalimantan and also in Sumatra. But what is that kind of like to be there with an animal that's so rare that people thought had maybe disappeared from Kalimantan? Here, all of a sudden, you have, you know, uh, one of the last Bornean rhinos. Uh, what is that experience kind of like for you? Well, look, I mean, you know, there's there's a professional component and a and a you know and a personal component. I mean, professionally, um, professionally, she, she is a, a you know a wild rhinoceros um, that is that is undergoing a you know a, a, a very high risk and stressful event that is capture and translocation and 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 acclimation to to human care, and and uh, you know and there is a there is a, a, a process by which that undertaking can be managed optimally. And so, you know, I, I, you know, I, I objectively bring my expertise to, 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 to assist with that undertaking. I mean, personally, I just, I mean, uh, mind-bogglingly awesome. I mean, you know, th these are a very, very charismatic animal. Um, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and their conservation status is, you know, just just adds an additional degree of, of, um, uh, uh, of stupendousness to, to 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 this kind of this kind of work. You know, I met I met and spent time with Pahu during her initial um, during her initial um, 
life in human care. So, you know, I, I got to know her as a rhino that was undergoing a, you know, a, a massive shift in, in experience. I mean, my understanding is that camera trap data suggested that she had had a previous calf. So, you know, that sort of suggests that she had been an adult for long enough to have had a, had an, and, and, and weaned a previous calf. Um, her current health generally appears to be good. Um, you know, she, she's in good body condition. She looks good. Her demeanor's good. She's regularly assessed um, by, by, um, by the, the, uh, the Kellyanne veterinary team, um, including review of laboratory assessment of blood samples, which suggests that all her organ systems are doing well. Um, her reproductive health, unfortunately, is abnormal. Uh, it would appear that she does not cycle regularly uh, like a like a normal um, like a normal mammal and like a normal Sumatran rhino should. And the ultrasound data that we have suggests that there is an abnormality associated with one of her ovaries. I mean, the good news is she appears not to have uterine reproductive pathology, at least based on the ultrasound data that we have. Um, and, and uterine, you know, abnormalities that develop in the uterus are the classic cause of infertility in rhinos that, that don't, don't breed regularly. And, you know, a significant number of Sumatran rhino that have been captured recently um, have had advanced uterine pathology. You know, they develop tumours and, 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 and other degenerative changes in their uterus that can be seen on ultrasound, which just preclude the normal implantation and support of a pregnancy. And Pahu doesn't have that, but she does have something going on with one of her ovaries. It, it's unlikely at this stage that she will breed either naturally or, or, or artificially, you know, or, you know, that is via assisted reproductive technologies. At this stage, we need to begin by, we need to begin that process by developing a plan for identifying what that mass is on that ovary. So I know that there's a, at least there was a news report maybe a year ago or so that there is another rhino in the this similar area where Papu was, um, and that it's believed to be a female. Um, do you know if there's a capture plan uh, uh, being readied for this other rhino um, and, and where that process might be at this time? There, there is a capture plan being developed for, for Pari, um, the, 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 the female animal that, that has been identified. Um, and, you know, I mean, we know she's there because she's been sighted on capture trap. And I, as far as I'm aware, um, they're, they're, they're the most recent issues are from early 2020. Sorry, the most recent images of, of, of her are from early 2020. Um, the location and capture of Pari will be much more difficult than it was for Pahu. Pahu was located in a, in an, in an, I mean, Pahu was, was deemed to be at, a, at, at, at risk of misadventure or, or poaching because she was pretty much confined in a little area of, a relatively small area of jungle bordered by a mining conservancy and, and a village and, a, and, and some main roads. And, you know, she, she really needed to come out. But the, by virtue of that, she was relatively easy to locate and find. I mean, having said that, it was still nine months before, the, the, you know, in between pits being active and open, the pit traps being active and open and the animal being captured. Pari is in a much larger area of the jungle. So that, that will bring, that will introduce addi additional challenges. Um, planning is underway um, for her capture um, and has been, has been at least since 2020, COVID has had a significant impact on, on interfering with those plans. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, making a decision to capture and translocate an individual Sumatran rhino is a big deal. I mean, it is, you know, it's, a, it's I mean, they are very, they're very cryptic, they're difficult to find, um, they're very high profile. There are, there are, you know, there are also political risks as well as biological risks to the animal. Um, you know, there are many, many stakeholders involved. There are many layers of government involved. Um, there are, there, there usually are significant local sensitivities that need to be managed you know the the um you know local people that live in the area that have a significant stake in the in the local environment and the animals that it contains um and um and and then you throw COVID into the mix as well and so so you know at the moment 
at the moment, as far as I'm aware, um, the, the planning for planning for for the final final drive towards a you know a capture attempt is 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 slowed. There are so many views on the practices of saving the species. Uh, the pressure to do so is uh, very high. Meanwhile, there are um, much uh, human and financial resources uh, both on the policy for the policy making and. Uh, and on the grassroots la- grassroot levels. And so the Indonesian government is understandably being prudent when it comes to sharing detailed information about the rhino and ongoing plans, but that also unfortunately tra- um, often translates into having to go through a fortress of bureaucracy just to get sometimes a non-answer uh, from the government. So I know with with uh, wild captures, I know uh, you know loosers being looked at, and there are some animals there that are being followed and identified. Way canvas is being searched and figured out. Do you think in Kalimantan, other than Pari, do you think there could potentially be other animals, or do you think we're pretty much at the the end <laughs> of the the very last rhinos of Borneo? Look, I you know I'm probably you know I'm not a field ecologist. I I that's my area of expertise. I mean, I'm an optimist. I mean, I really hope there are. Um, and, and, you know, some of the conversations I've had with, with you know, the, with workers on the ground, you know, you know, rhino patrol unit guys and, and, and local ecologists and, and, you know, the, the teams that are searching and managing um, tracking surveys suggest that they are hopeful that there may be other individuals in, in, in Eastern and maybe Central Kalimantan. Um, but, you know, and, and look, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, we thought they were all gone for Kalimantan there for a while, and it was really only fortuitous camera surveys for a, a orangutan, I think, that, 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 um, that you know, that, that alerted us to the fact that there were still animals there. So it's a big place and there's a lot of jungle. Um, but, you know, I, yeah, look, I, I mean, I, I think we're, they're getting pretty thin on the ground. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I, I hope so, but, but I, I, I'm certainly worried that, you know, where there, there may not be.